Hello, I'm Jono from X11 Sports and in these few videos we're going to go from that looks like this with damage quite clearly to the toe, looking a bit shabby, a little bit past its best, to a refurb bat with Brandon, new scuff sheet, new grip. To start off you can see we've got some damage in the toe, some surface cracks which is pretty pretty standard for a bat that's in a, that's in a few years. Uh, or a few seasons possibly, uh, currently held together with thread uh, on the toe. So to take the sheet off, there's two methods. We've got a couple back, so I'm gonna go through a couple methods. But there's two methods. One method, we're using a heat gun, which is a lot easier to take the, the, the stickers off uh, and, and the glue with it. Um, another method, taking it off dry uh, and using a disc sander to get rid of any of the excess glue before you can start sanding sanding away. Um, I've got a couple, got another camera set up just here uh, for kind of close-ups um, so we'll, we'll see we'll see how it goes uh, but probably time lapse for it because it'll take a little bit of a time uh, to get the heat gun warmed up a little bit and to start taking the stickers off. Uh, if you guys enjoy watching the video there'll be more coming. Uh, break the kind of the process down into taking the sheet off, sanding it ready for 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 gluing, uh, another video on gluing, and then sanding, prepping for, for the engraving work, work to come. Um, so we will start getting the start getting the uh, the sheet off now. So that's a bat, de-stickered, front and back, and the stickers on the side. Um, you can see in places, um, especially on the back here, where the temperature, the sticker wasn't damaged before taking it off, and obviously it stuck as well to both sides, so it was able to come peel away. Again on the back, there's a few areas where there's a bit of paper left behind, but with the with the sander, that'll all come, that'll all come straight off. So remove the rest of the residue of the sticker, clean the bat up just a little bit so we can see where we need to see where we need to address with the gluing process next next up. So as you can see, this is what the bat pre-gluing stage will look like. Um, we kind of I'll leave it here I don't want to do too much because again it's going to get glued so there'll be a bit of excess glue dripping around but you can see on this bat we've got excess damage to the toe which will need to be widened and glued we've found some on the edge like we said earlier there's a bit under here that we wouldn't have seen without the uh, without taking the without taking the stickers off but you can see with a little bit of work a bit of heat a bit of sanding all the glue has been removed off the bat, ready for gluing, ready to be re-glued and clamped. I'll go for another process with another bat. Here we have a woodstock, great bats, um, in need of a bit of a refurbishment. Uh, there isn't too much damage or outset damage, uh, bar a little bit that needs a bit of filling in here. As you can see, the toe itself doesn't look too bad. So, but I'll show you just without, if you, if you don't provide any heat, how difficult it can be. There we go. So you got two methods, uh, one with the heat gun, one without. To take the stickers off the bat, ready for ready, ready for you to be able to glue them. In the next video, we'll get on with gluing this SF on its process to becoming an X11 refurb bat with Brandon on. But I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there'll be more more videos coming. If you want to follow my uh, Facebook page X11 Sport, please come and follow uh, and check out the work that I'm doing, videos and stuff posted regularly. Next video will be 
gluing the SF uh, as well as keep going on the woodstock, this woodstock, junior woodstock and fill in, fill in our little gap at the back here that we've got uh, where there was a knot. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it for now. Thank you very much. See you later.